Hi guys, from watching the video, Passive House explained in 90 seconds that's in the file section of the team guys. So you should watch that first of all, it's very short. I can pick out six key points in the Passive House design, okay, that we're going to have a look at this week, okay. So, number one, the insulation. Number two, being a thing called air tightness. Number three, being thermal bridge, and the fact that there's no thermal bridges. Number four, being orientation. Number five being windows and number six finally uh, I can put it out over here is M H R V mechanical heat recovery ventilation okay so the plan guys for this week is that I'm gonna make a bit of a mind map obviously you can make your own points guys or write in your own type of notes on it but on today's class we're going to first of all concentrate on insulation and air tightness okay so i'm going to go through this on this video and you can do it in your own spin then at home and whatever you want and just upload it to show it to me okay some quick bullet points to put in now guys for the insulation heading okay so passive house design they're trying to achieve a U value of 0.1 between 0.1 and 0.15. Okay, so to achieve this, they have large amounts of insulation in the walls, the roofs, and the floors. For instance, there's 300 millimeter cavity wall insulation. That's a big change compared to 100 millimeter, a 100 millimeter cavity in a normal house. Okay, so they make the cavity much bigger, and they put in a lot more insulation. For instance, they call, they also have 150 millimeter insulation slab under the floor. Okay, so what I want you to do, guys, on your own mind map, obviously you can take down these three or four points in your own words if you want, okay? But as I said, guys, there's a sketch on page 391 and 392 to add to this because in the question in the exams, they will ask for, they, they'll ask for some sketches to go with a couple of the different headings, whatever they'll ask, okay? So a simple sketch for insulation, two simple sketches, okay, on page 391 okay so a simple sketch here guys of the slab underneath the floor here guys so all you wouldn't even have to do this full sketch guys all i'd be doing there is to show the slab of insulation underneath the floor okay all i do be doing is a small bit of sketch of this okay and i also do a quick sketch of this guys with your external leaf, your large cavity with 300 millimeter insulation, your internal leaf, okay? So a sketch of that as well, guys, nice and simple, will suffice for the insulation sketches. And just I just quickly sketched out something that could be simply used as well, guys, look. This is a very, very simple sketch, guys, of the 300 millimeter super insulation. It's pumped cavity insulation, so you have your inner leaf, You've got your outer leaf of concrete block and then the extra extra large cavity 300 millimeters and it's pumped full of the insulation okay so that's a simple sketch for that and then guys very simple sketch for the bottom okay the 150 millimeter again in yellow insulation underneath the concrete floor slab and obviously look your floorboards running along the top very simple sketch guys okay so they do perfectly and that's all i want you to get done for today's class is obviously listen to the video watch the video okay write out your different mind map in whatever shape you want to put it maybe take down maybe three to four points on insulation and then do the two sketches guys um if you can't fit them in maybe we'll only keep the mind map here to, to actual bullet points and we'll have a separate page for sketches okay